What's going on YouTube? It's me, First Tree Review, back in here for another video. Today we got one of the best cakes you can buy from my supermarket, and we're gonna talk about some high scaling business ideas. And as always, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and leave a comment down below if anything you want me to do or try. I'm down to do it. With that being said, let's get into it. So what we got here is B. McCain chocolate cake. I didn't know what to get to eat, so I was like, let me do a dessert, because I haven't done a dessert in a while. Outside of the prime drinks, I think the last dessert I did was, uh, that doesn't even count as dessert, is the donut. So I was like, let me get a dessert. So let me just take off its shirt here. It's cake shirt. And then we can take a look at this. Look at it. Ooh, almost dropped it. Look at that. Ooh. Mm. I got the chocolate one. It comes in, I think, vanilla and marble. Or maybe it just comes in chocolate and marble, but look at that. That's good. We're definitely going to eat this. I'm not going to eat the whole thing, obviously, but, yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Mm. So, this is dangerous because even though I won't eat the whole thing, I definitely can eat the whole thing. And that's the problem here because sometimes I'll just be sitting here and I'll eat it and I'll just be eating it and eating it and eating it and before you know half the thing is done, like five minutes, I'm like, whoa. And this is so good. You should be able to get this at like your local grocery store. I think, I see this in gas stations and convenience stores. Oh yeah. Well, with that being said, how's your guys' day today? Good? Good. Mine was all right. Just a regular boring day at work. You know how it is. So, what I wanted to talk about today is some high scaling business ideas. And it's not one of those things where it's like, where I'm telling you what the business ideas are, because I'll be honest with you, I don't know. And if I knew, I'd, I'd do it. So this video is kind of me just like riffing and like talking about what could be. Cause I had some ideas, but I don't really know where to go. Obviously YouTube, is a high scaling business idea because you'll see people, YouTubers, streamers, and all this stuff making hundreds of thousand dollars a month. So obviously that's a high scaling business idea. But I'm talking outside of that because obviously that's one thing I'm doing right now. It'll come in time, but like I have more time, right? So aside from making the videos better, I also want to start something. So later on down the road where this gets bigger, I can also have a business on the side too. A lot of people don't know. I mentioned it before, but a lot of people don't know that I have a blog, right? And originally that blog was like my main idea of how I'm going to make money because it's a finance blog and I love talking about finance, right? So that's what it is. And I was consistent on that for about two years running mo like one to like three blogs every week, consistent for two years or three years straight. And it was like, I wasn't making any money. Like no matter what affiliates I did, no matter like if I, I, I wrote a book, yeah, I wrote a book, like a 50 page book, like a little ebook. I don't know what I did, I just couldn't make money from it. Like I, I promoted it, social media, on the website, everything. Like I put ads out for it too and I just couldn't get any traction. And it was like, after two years, I was like, okay, I need to maybe like kind of readjust myself. And then eventually I just stopped posting because it just got to the point where I wasn't seeing any return on investment. It started to become a, like a labor of love. And I stopped loving it. But then recently, so I stopped writing in probably 2020, I think, or 2021. I've come back to it recently and I see that I still get some traction on the website. So originally before I stopped writing, I was probably getting like 2K visitors a month. And that was off me running Google ads and stuff. But without the Google ads, I mean, just like letting the website sit, I'm still hitting about 700 or 600 to a thousand visitors 
a month, right? So I've retained probably about like half of my view of my uh, readers. And in the two to three years that I was writing, I think I only made like six to eight dollars on the website. From leaving the website sit, I think it's up like forty six dollars now. Obviously, there's some potential there, but I hear blogging is really hard to make money unless there's a way to monetize it further, which there is. I've been doing some research on how to monetize it further. And there's so many avenues that people are talking about that I even think of, like charging people for blog posts, buying out other websites, like um, hiring freelance artists to write stuff for you. Like, there's so many things that you could do. So maybe that's one thing you guys can think about the blog. I'm probably gonna get back into it. And then like when this gets bigger and I want you guys to like see me, I'll like merge the two things together and they can kind of like help each other even, even though they're in like two unrelated spaces because uh that one's finance like i said or else i didn't say it but it's finance like finance investing and stuff like that and this one's uh, i did say that and this one is like food obviously but we talk about everything that's one i use also have a detailing business too but then i got lazy to do that and also a detailing business isn't really a scalable business I was also thinking of doing headlights. Headlights is good too. It's a good way to make some money, but it's also not really a scalable business. And that's what I learned. Service-based businesses aren't really scalable unless you take that step to hire people to do it for you. Like I seen this guy on TikTok, like his name on TikTok is Nicholas Crown. And I seen him on like a podcast or something. And he's talking about how he made a resume writing business and it made like a hundred K a month or something like that. And I was like, wow. I write people's resumes for them and rewrite people's resumes for them for free. You can make a business out of that. I never even thought to charge people to, to do their resume and things like that. Maybe I should have because that sounds like a really good idea, but now it's probably like obsolete. Cause so I'm pretty sure he did that a long time ago, but there's also other things like app development, create an app, that's like highly scalable or like a game where you can get money from in-app purchases. Like there's so many highly scalable businesses, copywriting what people talk about, real estate. I don't know, maybe I wanted to like create a product, but I don't know what product I would create either. Like candles is a good one. I feel like I'm not interested enough in that space to learn and do it myself. Like in my website, I talked about it. I talked about so many businesses. I was talking about franchises. I talked about candle businesses. I talked about being like financial advisor. I talked about being like a like personal trainer, things like that. Personal training business could, could be scalable depending on how you do it, but like, I don't know like if you guys have any highly scalable business ideas leave them down below like leave a comment down below because i'd love to know because i'm trying to think of something right now i'm kind of leaning towards like doing the blog and learning coding more to create an app and then that being scalable and that making me a lot of money along with like youtube and other things but it's like i don't know i wonder if anyone does anyone else have like these kind of thoughts where you're just like wow i want to make a scalable business but what scalable business is right for me because like you could create a business like detailing and be like this is good but if you want to take it to the next level and to scale it up to a point where you're making like hundreds of thousands a month or even like tens of thousands a month in like profit that you could actually take home after payroll and all that stuff and after like your overhead like you need something that scales really well and it's like persistence and patience like you just need to find what it is and i don't know what that could be for me possibly like my family owns a business i can take that over too but it's like that's not scalable either and it's not something i'm passionate about don't get me wrong, it's a mechanic shop. I love cars, but it's also at the same time, it's like, yo. There's one thing about like liking cars, another thing like working with them. I don't know. When I decide, I'll let you guys know because I try to figure it out. I'm trying to like do this and like maybe continue the blog and then like have a business and have these things kind of like have them all funnel each other, you know, have something going on there. A bunch of different passions like merging together, but it's like, it's really hard to think of. You want to pick something that's right for you. Something that you can go full steam ahead on without any regrets or without looking back. That's pretty hard to do. So we'll definitely take a look at it and I'll see and I'll let you guys know what I choose, honestly. So that was the McCain cake, absolutely delicious. 
it is a 9 out of 10 as far as like cakes you get from a store go that you could just pick up for like seven bucks yeah this was 6.99 before tax whatever that is eight dollars after tax i don't know 30 percent tax way too high here in canada but i digress but with that being said remember to like comment share subscribe leave a comment down below of any topics you want me to talk about i'm down to talk about it check out the suggested videos in the side and pick one of these up for yourself when you get a chance they're pretty good nice little snack after dinner you know this first true review peace